Hey, what's up guys? It's I, Mark Yoon, and today for another hopefully exciting video. So what I got for you today is actually not a, an exciting video. Well, I guess depending on where you're standing, it's more of a somber one for myself. But we have received information about Jump Force that was not wholly unexpected, but still out of the blue in the same way. Um, especially when you consider other games in the same franchise. Excuse me for one second. It's early and Goku Black and I have to drink some coffee. Um, so Bandai Namco gave out a tweet right here and it says, our sincere thanks go out to all the Jump Force players and fans for their support. But with all good things, they must also come to an end. Jump Force's availability through digital purchases in the Americas will end on 2-7-2022, which is February 7th, so that's like pretty soon, uh, at 5 p.m. PST. Um, which is Pacific Standard Time. They go on to say, online servers will go down on August 24th, 2022, but all single player functions will still be playable locally. Uh, I have more on that, so wait till the end and we'll get talk about that. Thank you for all your support once again. We look forward to seeing you and enjoying uh, our other games. So the sun is setting on Jump Force. Now a lot of you may be saying, well, what does this entail? What's gonna be playable? We have all that information here, so we're gonna go over that. Um, and then I'll give my opinion at the end. I just want to get the information out of the way first for those of you who don't care about my opinion. But it says for more, go to this link. So we're going to follow this link. By the way, guys, if my audio has been off recently, uh, it's because my stupid mic cable um, broke. So I've been tending to not use it. So it's pretty much here just for looks until I get another mic cord or another mic. I'm thinking about grading to shore, but I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so... Uh, this link takes us to Bandai Namco's webpage where it says, Everyone at Bandai Namco Entertainment would like to offer our sincere thanks to all Jump Force players and fans for their years of support. Today we are announcing the end of Jump Force's availability through digital purchases in the Americas. Jump Force will cease to be available for base game, DLC, and virtual currency purchases on February 7th, 2022. At 5pm PST for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Nintendo Switch. It goes on to say, additionally, some of the Jump Force online servers will be sunsetting on August 24th, 2022. However, all single player functions will continue to be playable locally on your home console or PC, as well as PvP battle, except the ranked match mode, which is important. For additional details, please see below. So now we're going to go over all the um, actual times and stuff like that, and then we'll follow that up with my opinion. So sales end date. Now, what does sales end date mean? If you go to a GameStop or somewhere like a Walmart where you find, find physical copies, you can still purchase the game and play the game. That's not the thing. It's digitally, they're going to be removing this from the stores, which means that if you have not yet purchased the game, um, you're no longer going to be able to search for it on the digital stores um, as well as the DLC. So inadvertently, if you already own the game but you have not yet bought the DLC, this is also your window of opportunity to purchase said DLC before that expires as well, and then you'll no longer have the ability to do so. Sales end date, February 8th, 2022, which is a Tuesday at 10 a.m. JST, which is Japan Standard Time. February 7th, 2022, on a Monday, which is 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. February 8th, 2022, which is a Tuesday, which is 2 a.m. Central uh, Eastern Time, or Central Time, whatever that is. I think that's Europe actually, C-E-T, I don't think that's U.S. Um, but anyway, please note that times may vary, it indicates, and it also says sales and contents. Now these are the things in which you can no longer purchase after said date. PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Jump Force. Nintendo Switch, Jump Force Deluxe Edition. Jump Force Character Packs 1 through 14, Jump Force Character Pass 1 through 2, and JF Metals. Online service end date. So this is uh, when the online is no longer be, going to be functional. Um, I think a lot, like a lot of it, we're going to get to that. I don't want to jump ahead of myself, but I, I did reread this uh, prior to making this video so that we can have all the information going forward. But it says August twenty fifth, two thousand twenty two, which is a Thursday, between ten a.m. and two p.m. JST, uh, as well as August twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. PDT between 6 and 10, August 25th, 2022, CEST between 3 a.m. and 7 a.m. That's when the service dates are going to end. Now here are the current options that will no longer be available if you already own the game. Logging into the multiplayer lobby, Dunzo. Online events, 
Dunzo. Clan functions, no. Viewing the notice board, viewing the leaderboards, accepting rewards from the reward counter, in-game store, premium shop. Uh, only this function will be available until August 1st, 2022 and online ranked matches. And here's the content which will be available after the end of the online service. Offline content, which means the entire story mode, uh, couch versus, all that good stuff. Online battles are still going to be playable except for ranked match, which means like we can do our um, our friend matches and we can battle online, which is the biggest sigh of relief for me because um, at, even though I don't play this game that often, like I still have people that I play with uh, that don't live in the same area as me, so it's nice that we can actually still shoot this game up and play if we actually want to. Maybe shoot this game up was a wrong way to say that. <laughs> we could still boot this game up. <laughs> Uh, DLC. DLC purchased before the end of the sales will still be available for use after online service ends. Thank you all once again for your support and we look forward to enjoying your games. Our games. Alright, so let's talk about my opinions on this a little bit. First of all, I want to say that it's a little bit weird. The sales obviously weren't that great, but the jump games are usually promotional games, just as J Stars Victory versus J Stars Victory versus Plus, Jump Stars and Jump Ultimate Stars. These are always promotional anniversary games that they uh, put forth to kind of celebrate Shonen Jump as a whole. That's why they take a lot of manga inspiration and stuff as well, not just the anime. Um, and some of those games are better than others. Like, I actually enjoyed, um, I enjoyed all of them for the most part. Now, here's the thing that, like, I'm, I'm happy about. First of all, I'm happy, like I said, that we can still play online with our friends. We just can't, like, um do any ranked matches or anything like that that's a really good move for them to put in there and that actually gets a lot of stress relieved for me because for those of us who purchased this game especially pre-ordered with like the ultimate edition which i did which was like over a hundred dollars um i want to still be able to play this game and there's for a few reasons because a lot of you guys are, are saying like oh this game's trash like why do you want to play this game still obviously there's a reason that people say it's trash yes and no there is like a whole bandwagon effect because there's plenty of like shitty games that like people still like to play um, and still have fun with for a certain reason. There are games that we feel like are kind of cash grabby, right? And to, in a sense, these anniversary Jump Force games, these Shonen Jump games are cash grabs because they're just meant to celebrate like um, the, seer, the all the franchise that are found within Shonen Jump and for fans that want to see them cross over, uh, which has a large market. And for me personally, like, Let's take this for example. We don't have any good Hunter Hunter games like on current gen or previous gen consoles, right? There's there's a few like uh, like mobile and stuff, but uh, I can't really play as Metaum in like anything, right? But and Metaum is one of my favorite characters in all of anime, let alone like just in Hunter Hunter. Um, but we have like five awesome characters from Hunter Hunter, so like basically you can have like your own Hunter Hunter battles. Uh, Bleach is another thing. I know the anime is coming back, so there's a possibility of always getting a game, but the last game that we got was like Soul Resurrection on like PS3. Um, there was a bunch on the Wii, which a lot of them didn't even come to America or the US in, in general. Um, then there's other franchises, like uh, let's look at JoJo. There's JoJo characters in there, which I know a lot of people love JoJo, so it's fun to see them f face off against everybody with like these own like imaginary battles. And granted, like the the battle system is not as expansive as something like Naruto uh, Storm series, which Storm's not even that great either. We just love the game. Um, you know, and um, a lot of the cr criticisms that are falling upon this game that I put upon this game myself uh, were, especially in the earlier days, the lack of roster and stuff. But with the DLC packs, like, they've really added a lot of characters that, like, I enjoy and that, like, I feel like a lot of other people enjoy. And it's just fun to throw back and play, like, if you're not being competitive, right? Which is what I do. I play with friends. Sh there are shonen uh, genres that are very much uh, underutilized that are represented in this game. And this, they, these are characters that don't have their own games. These are characters that like, we, we can only play as in Jump Force. Please follow these dates. If you want to purchase Jump Force, uh, go and do so before the time period ends, uh, including the DLC. That way you can at least be able to play the game. Um, and even if you don't want to play it right now, it's, as long as it's in your library, you can re-download it, but it will no longer be available in the stores after these dates. I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, please join the Discord and subscribe to the channel so we can have more great conversations like this offline. And as always, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.